Happy Tuesday. I hope you've had a great day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm often asked questions about, or I'm, I'm told, like, I just really struggle making decisions. If you're someone who struggles making decisions, put a comment in the comment section and just be like, yeah, I kind of vacillate. Like, I have a hard time. Hey, Larry, I have a hard time making decisions, or I change my mind, or any of those kinds of things. I'm, I'm curious to know um, who, who has experienced that and what your experience has been. So here's a really easy tip I know um, always works when making decisions. And remember that if you struggle making decisions, it radically um, impacts your success because the world of, of indecisiveness, the world of really unbelief or disbelief in yourself will slow you down. It's like kind of quicksand. It's like if you lived in Alaska, it'd be the muskag that requires, you know, four low to get out of. And four low, if you stay in four low all the time with your machine, you're going to cause a lot of damage. It's only supposed to be to get up and out of ruts. So here it is, is commit to anything less than 100% yes is a no. So when you get asked to do something or you have an opportunity um, to, let's say, invest in yourself or you have an opportunity to um, speak at an event or let's say the decisiveness is should I hire somebody or shouldn't I? If it's less than 100% yes, it's a no and live with that decision. Now, you must understand that if you have been leading your life through fear, your fear, your subconscious programming is going to come up and stop you before you make a positive decision, right? So I'm not saying like, oh my gosh, I don't know because I'm afraid. That is not what I'm speaking of here. I'm speaking of when, when you hear of an opportunity, like, like for instance, let's say you've been on the fence about joining the boot camp and maybe even on the fence about getting on a call with me, which blows my mind. It's a free opportunity to have the best coaching you can ever imagine. So if you've been waiting to do that, 56daycarabootcamp.com forward slash apply. Hey, Cindy. Um, Cindy's a decision maker. Student at life, join the boot camp. She's like, I know I need this. I know I want to be with that tribe. I'm in. Made a decision. Bam. Um, so, so when anything less than 100% yes is a no. So let's, first, let's say, for instance, you're like, oh, man, should I let this staff member go or do I keep them? If you've been going back and forth, just make a decision and live with it. Eliminate the possibility of any kind of retreat. Like when you make a decision, stand for it. Don't vacillate and see that decision through. And if you have to come back around and, and make changes because like after the decision, that's fine. But see things through to their completion or else how will you know if it was a good decision or not? So anything less than 100% yes is a no. So here's the second thing. Hey, Colleen, that I've really been noticing is check yourself before you wreck yourself. If you regularly lead with, well, I feel like blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm not really doing that good in practice. Uh... It's not a feeling there, sister or brother. <laughs> you can look at your numbers and determine, are you doing well or are you sucking it up? If you're sucking it up, you need help, don't wait. If you could have, you would have. If you haven't been able to figure it out yet, you need help to move there. Don't allow your fear to tell you, well, I'll just figure it out. No, you won't. Because if you could have, you would have. The second part of that is, I feel like I'm doing a good job and your stats prove that you are. Awesome. What have you been doing in order to produce those results? Make sure you know your metrics. Make sure you know what you've been doing to lead to those good results. Get rid of the, I feel like. I feel like I'm not a good boss. Are you or aren't you? I feel like, I'm, you know, I'm making a pretty good impact. Are you or aren't you? Get rid of the, I feel like no leader walks around with that as their leading remark. Make a stand. I am this. I am not that. 
not I feel like this, I feel like that. So it's one of the phrases that is really popular nowadays. And the reason so many people use it is because it gives them an out. It's kind of like the, well, I tried my best. Okay, did you do your best? Because we say try because it gives us an op an option to fail. It gives us an out. Don't lead your life like that. Be in or be out, but don't live in the middle. So I hope this was helpful. Hey, Aaron and Gina and Jason. Welcome, welcome. Um, if this was helpful, please share it with somebody else. If you'd like to add a comment, I'd love to read it. So pop it on below. See ya. Thanks.